amazing people, beautiful people, like they like to charge it hard and they're very competitive, but at the same time there is this like true solo snowboarding in a build within them, having a good time in a good group with some good snowboarding and racing. It's 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 amazing. Back in Poopa! When they are in the start gates, they are fighting and they are not uh, sticking back because somebody has a disability or something. Uh, but then again, when you are uh, out of the competition, and, and it's, it's like a, a great family. They could take a lot from this. The sportsmanship that I see between these athletes, the encouragement, the constant banter back and forth, and the laughter. A slight reminder of what is the true meaning of snowboarding. Just uh, looking, looking to to the next years. What we what we gonna do over here? Pyhä Ski Resort, located well above the Arctic Circle in Finnish Lapland, has hosted many races in para snowboard cross history. But before there can be any racing going on, piles of snow need to be turned into a race course. That takes a couple of snowcats, some solid know-how, and a great field crew. Before we came here, like the local staff had, had done the snow, and when we came here, there was just huge piles of snow. First, we started with the cats to breaking the snow piles and. We started with the start section because usually it takes a lot of time to get that done and that's really important that it works well. And we had two cats. Other one was building and the other one was taking down the piles. In the end, just a bit of hand shaping. Did you have Matti Suurhamari with the build crew? Yeah, that was a really nice upgrade for this year that Matti changed the raising bib to a shovel it helps a lot because he has seen rider's side of the course so we managed to cut some challenges off when we had like the professional rider helping in the course building trying to look busy <laughs>
Um, I have been involved with the pair since 2013. Most of my experience has been with uh, Big White Ski Resort, but recently taking this job um, as a coach for Benny and for Snow Australia. We have uh, this community that supports one another every step of the way, whether it's asking for a screwdriver when they need it or questions to answers that you don't have. Not only the community of riders and athletes, but the coaches. Every single one of them that I've approached with anything has, has open-armed, offered advice and shared information. The role of team captain and for, for me as head coach for Australia has a lot to do with, uh, you know, the day-to-day -day logistics, organizing flights, making sure wax techs and physios are all aligned so that when it comes to the athlete, their one job is to show up to train, enjoy themselves and perform. So I think one of the biggest roles of that is, is to provide an atmosphere where it can be relaxed and easy for them to do their job. Um, the logistics portions of this is, is sometimes feels very insurmountable, especially schedule changes, lack of snow. But one of the biggest roles there is to provide this atmosphere where they can just come in and do their job. Their one job is to come out and perform. So I think that's the biggest role that we play is to be able to facilitate that for them, to make it easy for them to do their job. Hello. Hi Ben. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. It's very safe. Haven't been on the border cross in a while, so looking forward to it and good to be back in Puha. You like Puha? It's probably my second home. I love it here. Being teammates with Marty for four years, yeah. This is definitely, I love it. <laughs> you know what, when the sun decides to come up once every two weeks, that's spectacular and everyone waits for it. It's not quite like that today, but I'm sure we'll see it soon. And yeah, it, it just, you know what, also the course and the course workers, they love putting everything into it and they're like a family to the Power Snowball community. So we are all very thankful for them. A little speculation, fellas. Who is looking fast today? No speculation. No speculation. No, everything is clear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to speculate. <laughs> does, does somebody have anything on Ben today? Of course, everybody's trying, but... No. Maybe this guy, but he isn't... <laughs> Other job to do. <laughs> what do you think, Matti? Is, is uh, you have the best wag tech in the business? Easily. Easily. What makes him the best? Oh, that one. <laughs> Too fast <laughs> board. <laughs> that makes him fast. I don't know. He does the magic. It's, it's been always, always the world fastest board. Lots of secrets over there. Is there? Of course. <laughs> but nothing with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> we tell everything. <laughs> so you, so you tell, so you tell her what to, what's good on the yeah. board, like yeah. And she don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your job on a race day? Basically, put the top things and brush hard make the board fly really easy in this kind of weather it's it's wet and everybody knows what they what they're doing but i'm here to help everybody this is good community so i'm blessed to be here how do you feel now that matti is retired from competition he was your teammate in Team Unicorn. Yeah, yeah, I'm sad. I'm really sad. Um, Marty was a great teammate and a mentor for me, so it's great that he got the Paralympic gold and I still learn a lot from him every day and um, just want to do him proud now that he's on the other side of things and it's great to see him here, but yeah, it's, it's a bit different without him in the gate next to me.
How are you feeling about today's race? Yeah, I, I think I'm prepared. I'm pretty calm. Um, it should be a good race. There's a lot of good competitors here, so yeah, let's bring it on and see what happens at the end of the day. Attention! Going with really nice. Everything runs smooth. Today we are racing uh, SBX, which means uh, first we go training, then we have qualification runs. Each uh, will ride his or her own time. Then we rank them on brackets. Everyone will go to the heats and run two by two or four by four till the end, so that we find a winner. Race day, race weather. That's how it goes. Same for everyone. Good race. Good race. Okay. Good race. At the end of the day, good race. You lock in? No. It's a good race. You know what I mean? Big final? Oh no. Good race. Okay. Yeah, buddy? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Come on down there, bro. Oh, you're not behind you. Oh shit. There is a lot happening on a race day. The athletes are racing, coaches are helping, wax techs are putting on finishing touches, a crew is keeping the course in shape, and the race organization is taking time to making sure the rules are respected. To make all this work in concert, the race needs a director. Uh, I'm the race director from FIS, so for, uh, for of the Ski and Snowboard Federation. The main duty is more or less to, to organize, to, to keep, to, to put all the people in the right place and to, to organize between the, the organizing committee, the volunteers, uh, look that the athletes make, make no strange things on the course and to, to keep an eye on the rules and everything. Organizing is uh, really, really good as always. I mean, Pucha is not the first time it's on the World Cup. It's now, I don't know, seven, eight years. Or uh, I'm here the third, third time, third year in a row. Uh, but there was also before the World Championship, and, and they do a really good job. A team, they know what to do, and it's great to work with them together. The course is, uh, it's a bit easier than last year's course, especially the start section. But easier doesn't mean that it's not a good course. It's, uh, I would say, a perfect course with a good balance between the Europa Cup and the World Cup, as we have uh, both uh, fields here, Europa Cup and, uh, and World Cup. So the, the, it's a great course for everybody. The good riders still have to push to, to make the best time, and, the, and it's affordable also for the Europa Cup riders. Yeah, the spirit, uh, that's also what I keeps me going in, in, this, uh, in these competitions. It's a great spirit. It's uh, everybody's helping out each other. Uh, we sometimes say it's like snowboard in the beginning, but I would say it's even better than snowboard in the beginning because because it's about uh, there's a lot of humanity and, and the, the behavior they show, like the, the uh, helping out. And so there is a competition, but it's a friendly competition, and it's not uh, uh, fighting and. and playing tricks against each other, but it's really uh, trying to stay on the fair side and keeping a fair sport and then helping out each other if there's a need. So that's something uh, I miss sometimes in the able-bodied world. There is too much competition, which then sometimes 
leads to also unsportive behavior. Australia, Amanda Reed. The para snowboarding community is an international bunch. There are teams from every continent. USA, Brazil, Italy, Australia. The Japanese seem to be the crowd favorites, putting on the biggest show, making everybody smile, teaching and learning phrases, making jokes. Matti Suurhamar even got a packet of ramen noodles in exchange for a medal. He also received some compliments for the course he helped to build. <laughs> was so good, even the coach you wanted to race. Maybe this is a new tradition for the upcoming years. Right. You're never too old. Bring your helmets for the next event. I will. <laughs> Sorry. The cable guy. <laughs> it's a wrap. And uh, really happy. Everything went, uh, went well. Uh, riders enjoyed and uh, we get a good feedback from team, so what can I say? It was a nice weather, nice racing, everything went smooth. That's a wrap. Pretty awesome. Every every single hit was super good racing and like really tight racing but healthy packs, not too much crashing or or anything else. So it it was really good racing. I'm I'm super super happy to see see the whole race from the sidelines. <laughs> Were there any new faces you were impressed with? Yeah, of course, like in the, in the Europa Cup, there was a couple of <coughs> new faces who, who rode like super good. And which means the future of the sport is, it's really good. And, and uh, we're gonna get pretty good riders in upcoming years. So excited to see, see that. I was, yeah, I was thinking about it like, like, uh, am I getting itchy when I see guys on the start gate? Like, I wanna, I wanna hop in the start gates and 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 go to the racing. But no, I I didn't get that feeling anymore. Of course, I I was super excited to to see the race and and like push the course course together and everything like work work for the organization. But like, I I didn't get the feeling that I I, I should have been there in the start gate. So. I, I I guess that that's a good sign, but <laughs> but I'm I'm really happy I'm really happy happy about everything what what I saw over here and how how the race went and how the organization worked. So did you fit in well with the guys? <laughs> hopefully, yeah. I I had fun times. Hopefully, they had fun times as well. <laughs> anyway, all good. Happy to be over here. Thanks for having me. Let's see what we what we can do on upcoming years over here.